Hello kids, this is Mr. Whistler and here's your video lesson of the day. Today we're going to be talking about the Battle of Saratoga. Now before I get started I want to talk a little bit about what the Americans had to go through to win their independence. It would be hard for anybody to win a war if they had a government intact. But the Americans not only had to fight the British but they had to get their government organized at the same time. So that's why that the Americans were short on supplies and, and didn't have very good support at the beginning of this war because the government was still trying to get organized. So the Americans really needed help from another country. And at this time they were actually losing the war and other countries did not really want to help them because if they joined up with the Americans and they lost, well they would they would be under the same rules of the losers. Remember the French when they lost, they lost a bunch of land. So the losers of a war always lose and the winners always win stuff. So other countries were really cautious about helping the Americans because they're not they weren't sure if they could win. So what the Americans were hoping was that they could get a big victory to show the rest of the world and other countries that they could win and hopefully it would encourage them or convince them to join up with the Americans and help them. So the Battle of Saratoga was the battle that this happened in. They actually won this battle and turned the it was the turning point in the war because it convinced the French to end up helping them. So, in 1777, the British came up with a plan to defeat the American army. And basically what their plan was, was to take control of the Hudson River and cut the colonies in half, separating the northern colonies from the southern colonies. It was going to be a three-pronged attack. They were going to attack from the south, the west, and the north. General Howe, their overall commander, was going to attack from the south, and he was coming from New York City. Lieutenant Colonel Barry St. Ledger was going to attack from the west, and he was coming from Lake Ontario. And Gentleman John Burgoyne was attacking from the north, and he, was, he had 8,000 troops that he was bringing with him from Canada. So, the three forces would meet in Albany, New York, and destroy the American army. So, they would attack from the south, the west, and the north, meet in Albany, and destroy the Americans. So, here's the details. General Howe, the overall commander, attacked from the south. But when he got to... Um, Pennsylvania, he saw Philadelphia over there, and that's actually where the Patriot government was, so he thought that he would have enough time to take Philadelphia and then continue on up to Albany and do his part of the plan. The problem was it took him longer than he thought, and winter set in, and he got stuck in Philadelphia for the winter, so he was unable to do his part of the plan. St. Ledger actually did his part of the plan. He came west from um, Lake Ontario, but he ran into a little problem. He ran into Benedict Arnold and his forces, and they defeated him, and St. Ledger was forced to retreat. So he was unable to do his part of the job. Well, John, General Burgoyne came from the north. Now, he had a little issue as well. He was a rich, kind of spoiled snob. He had grown up rich, and he was used to nice things, and he wouldn't even go to war without his nice things. So he brought his nice clothes, he brought his nice furniture, he brought his nice dishes, his nice silverware, and he, it was like he was at home. 
But the problem was, to bring all this stuff, he had to bring 30 wagons with him. He had 30 wagon loads of luxury goods. And these 30 wagons moved very, very slowly. They couldn't go very fast in the dense forest. On top of that, the Americans saw their, their wagon train, and they would go a few miles ahead of him and chop down trees in his way, which even slowed him down more. Now this caused a lot of problems because they ran out of supplies. So Burgoyne had to send a thousand of his men over into Vermont to try to find supplies. Well, when his men got over there, they ran into the Green Mountain Boys. And you don't want to mess with the Green Mountain Boys because they're mean. And they were captured. So Burgoyne had no choice but to retreat into this town of Saratoga right here. And now he's in serious trouble because he has no help from Howe and he has no help from St. Ledger. And he eventually gets surrounded by 12,000 Patriot forces. <clears throat> now this was really the first time in the war where the Patriots actually outnumbered the British. So Burgoyne makes one last um, attempt to defeat the Americans he attacks, but it doesn't work and he's forced to surrender. So the British lose the Battle of Saratoga, the Americans' first really big win. General Howe is embarrassed and he resigns, he quits, and General Henry Clinton takes his place. So the historical significance of Saratoga is that the it marked the turning point in the war because it persuaded France to join the Americans. Now you guys are going to have to write an essay on this and the map is our is the prompt for the essay. Everything that the essay should say is in the map. So 1970 or 1777 means this. In 1777 the British came up with a plan to defeat the Americans. It was a three-pronged attack. They were going to attack from the south, the west, and the north. They were all going to meet in Albany, New York, and destroy the American army. General Howe, the overall commander, attacked from the south, but he decided to try to take Philadelphia first. It took longer than he thought, and he got stuck there for the winter, so he was unable to do his job. St. Ledger actually did his job. He attacked from the west, but he ran into Benedict Arnold's forces, and he was forced to retreat as well, so he couldn't do his job. Pretty Boy Burgoyne attacked from the north, but he brought 30 wagon loads of luxury goods with him, and it slowed him down so much that he ran out of supplies. So he had to send a thousand men of his army over into Vermont, to try to find supplies when they ran into the Green Mountain Boys and they were captured. Burgoyne had to retreat down into Saratoga where he was surrounded by the Patriots and defeated. The historical significance of the Battle of Saratoga is it persuaded the French to help us and it was the turning point of the war. Well, that's the Battle of Saratoga, kids, and have fun writing your essays.